Hey drummers, so I want to look at the seven stroke roll today. So the seven stroke roll is by far one of the most common rudiments that we play in pipe band drumming. And unlike in say other forms of drumming where a roll is an open roll, I'm talking about a closed roll. Okay, so yes, in pipe band drumming we do play open rolls, but we far more commonly play closed rolls. And that's what makes our style of drumming quite unique. So when you hear a drum roll, in a pipe band or in rudimental drumming often you'll hear a really nice crisp smooth roll and there's a method to doing that and you'll see in some of my other tutorials i show you how to achieve a smooth roll the process by which we start with doubles and work it up controlling our technique and the bounce to the point where we can turn that into a nice crisp buzz roll so what we're going to do today is i've got a seven stroke roll this is essentially a play along so just an opportunity for you guys who are maybe learning the seven stroke roll or trying to improve your seven stroke roll or maybe you're a teacher you want to forward this link to one of your students to help them master the sound of the seven stroke this is simply a play along for people who want to develop better seven stroke rolls so before we get into the play along part i'm just going to talk about the execution so we want to be thinking about a seven stroke roll if we're thinking about it in a march we want to be thinking as triple lip tap okay triple lip tap that's exactly how we want to create the rhythm of the seven stroke roll so it's one two three tap that's your primary strokes one two three tap then we do the first three strokes as buzzes nice and smooth Okay, so that's a right hand seven stroke roll. Now, what we want to be doing is thinking about the texture of the buzz. And you'll see in some of my other video tutorials that we go into how to play the buzz really well. And just to keep on top of all those different free tutorials that I'm creating for you guys, just hit subscribe on the, the button below and you'll be able to keep up with all of the extra content that's coming your way. So what we want to do when we're playing that is think about how much pressure we're applying. And again, I'll not go into detail on that. You can see that on some of those other lessons. But we want smoothness. Just play along. And you can slow it down if you want. There's no rush to learn here. And keep an eye on what you're seeing with the movement of the arms. Okay, I'm going to do it from the side so you can see different angles. from this side as well. So you can just see that there's motor motion happening from the elbows, right? We we'll just bring the tempo up, but keep that nice triple it tap rhythm. Okay. That's what we're aiming for there, something smooth and consistent. Now, of course, like anything, I would encourage you to practice it on both hands. So let's try it on the left. Comment below which one you find more difficult, the left hand seven stroke roll or the right hand one. And maybe let me know why you feel it's a bit more challenging. Again, triple that tap, that's the rhythm that we want. Speed up. And as we speed up, try and make sure that the quality of what you, you're doing doesn't deteriorate. Keep the quality in check. Try that by hand to hand, so right, and then left. Let's just try that hand to hand until you're comfortable. So what you've got there is the seven stroke roll. You're gonna see that roll appear in almost every drum score you play. As a pipe band drummer, it's one of the essential roles that you wanna complete. So when you're looking at a massed band setting, a beginner setting, a grade four B setting, a grade five setting, a novice setting, whatever you wanna call it, you're gonna see a lot of seven stroke rolls in those scores. And the reason for that is because you're gonna see a lot of them in the top level scores too. So it starts to create the repetitions that you need to get in. And so guys, I'm a big believer 
in saying there's no shortcuts. We don't take shortcuts as drummers. Delayed gratification is our sport. So taking the time to get the reps in to improve your technique is all part of the game. And it doesn't matter whether you're at the top of your game or whether you're starting out, somewhere in the middle, doesn't matter. These reps are so important to keep that consistency. So guys, if you wanna check out tons more videos, hit subscribe. And also, I've got a free Facebook group where I go live. You can do a question and answer with me. You can pose questions to the group. There's thousands of drummers in there. So head on across, the link is below. It's called Pipe Band Drumming on Tap, free Facebook group that I host. So please come and join this amazing community and get even more. And I'm here to support you with your drumming. So if you've got any questions, any challenges, flick me a message. You can follow me on Instagram or on Facebook. Just reach out, guys. I'm here to support you. So good luck with your drumming.